Hi, I'm Karen, and this is Sam. Today, we're Sunday sampling. We've missed a few weeks of Sunday sampling, and we're really happy to be back. So, let's get started. Here's our sample basket from the last time we did a video. Before I get into those products, I want to talk about this one. This is from Clark's Botanicals. This is their Retinol Rescue Overnight Cream. I pulled this one several weeks ago, and I finally got around to using it. And I do like it. I like using retinol products on the nights that I don't use my Retin-A. Mostly I like using retinol oils and this is a cream and I didn't mind that too much, but I'm not going to be buying this one. It's $105 for 1.7 ounces and I just have some other retinol products that I've tried that I like better. So I'm not going to be purchasing this one, but I am very happy I got to try it mainly because I learned about this brand, Clark Botanicals, and I'm really impressed by the brand. So I'd like to try some more of their products. Okay, let's move on to the products that we pulled last time. This first one is from Summer Fridays. This is their Jet Lag Mask. Now, I know a lot of people love this product, but it just does not get along with my skin at all. The first time I used it, which was several months ago in another sample in series video, it caused me a lot of redness and irritation and burning. I had to wash it off as soon as I put it on. So this time I did a little patch test on my jaw and it did cause some redness and started to cause some irritation. So I had to wash it off again. I don't know what it is in the product for sure. I think it may be the niacinamide because I have had trouble with some other products before that had niacinamide, but there are some niacinamide products I can use. So I'm really not sure why this one bothers my skin, but it does and it's not for me. Next is from Graydon. I wanna get the name right on this one. This is the Graydon Berry Rich Probiotic Face and Eye Cream. This one sells for $49 for 1.7 ounces. And I was really happy to try this because I've been wanting to try something from Graydon for a long time. And this is a beautiful product. It's very rich and thick and nourishing on the skin. Just a little too heavy for my skin. I was happy to have it over the last couple of weeks because I have off and on had some irritation from my Retin-A and this really helps on the nights when I want to put something nourishing and rich on all that irritated, peeling skin. So this is a nice product. I probably won't purchase it because there just are not that many times when I want a moisturizer that's this thick and heavy. But if you have dry skin and you're looking for a really rich moisturizing night cream, you may love this one. The next product from the last time we pulled samples is this one from Eight Saints. This is the Eight Saints Seeking C Vitamin C Cream. This one is made with a vitamin C derivative. It's made with sodium ascorbyl phosphate. And vitamin C derivatives are really nice if you can't use L-ascorbic acid, which is the active form of vitamin C. I use Timeless Vitamin C Serum, which is made with L-ascorbic acid, and I love it. So I don't have a need for vitamin C derivatives in my skincare. Whenever I get a product like this in a subscription box or in my sample series, I give it to my husband to try. So I gave him this one. He does like using vitamin C products, but he doesn't care if they're derivatives or not. So I gave him this one, and he really likes it. He says it's a very nice product and he's been enjoying using it. I'm not gonna be buying it for him. I looked it up thinking about purchasing it for him. This one is $74 for an ounce, and I think that's way too much to pay for a vitamin C derivative product, so I'm not gonna be buying this one either. And then the next thing from the last sample series was this from Ilia. This is the Super Serum Skin Tint. They sent me three shades, which are not very representative of all the shades that are available. I did try mixing those top two shades together and still couldn't quite get a match for my skin, but I did get a pretty good idea of how it would sit on my skin, and it was okay. It wasn't a favorite. I didn't love it as much as I thought I was going to when I first read about it. I know a lot of people really love this product. 
I just didn't. I didn't feel like it looked that good on my skin. So I probably won't be buying this one either. I may try another sample later on. If I had the right shade, maybe I could get a better idea of whether I like it or not. But for now, this one's a no. Then the last thing from last time is this. This is from Inkling. This is one of their scents, and this one is in the scent Sultry. I love this scent. It smells so good. This came in one of my Petty Four boxes, and I just did my video, A Year of Petty Four Boxes, and I talked a little bit about this in that one. But I'll talk about it again here because I really do love it. It has a very fresh, clean scent. What do you think, Sammy? Mmm, yeah, we like this one, don't we? It smells good. Yeah, it does. When this little sample runs out, I may end up buying this because it just really is my kind of scent. So light, so fresh, so clean. But I don't wear fragrance very often, so it's going to be a long time before I, I run out of this. I can't wear fragrance to work, and I just don't really wear it that often outside of work. I do love this one, though, when I want to wear fragrance, and I'm so happy I got this sample. Okay, that was everything from our last time. Are you ready to pull some samples? For next week yeah here is our sample basket so let's get started on this let me find my glasses here because I'm gonna be needing those to read these labels this mix them all up real good first one here is from Alima pure this is their eye primer oh great I'm really excited about this because two reasons. I've wanted to trust something from Alima Pure for a long time, and I've been looking for a good eye primer. Seems like most of the ones I try are either too oily and make my shadow crease, or they're too dry and patchy and look flaky on my eyes. So I'm trying to find that middle ground of an eye primer that will actually look good on my eyes. We'll try this one and see what we think. So far, my favorite is the one from Milani. It's pretty good, but I'd like to find one that will be like a holy grail eye primer for me. Happy to have this one. And from the size of this tube, I'm gonna be able to get quite a bit of use out of it to make a good decision on whether I like it or not. So there's one. Let's mix all the rest of this up and see what's in here. What's this? This one is from Province Apothecary. This is their Nourishing Oil Cleanser and Makeup Remover with Avocado and Raspberry. I think I've had one of these samples before, maybe. I think I've had something else from a Province Apothecary. Maybe it wasn't this product. Excited about trying this. I'm always looking for a good oil cleanser. Love oil cleansers for taking off my makeup at night. So we'll see how this one stacks up. Okay, that's two. Ready for the next one? Yeah, me too. Oh, it's another little box here. What's this one? This is from Juice Beauty. This is their Phyto Pigments Illuminating Primer. Oh, it's another primer. This one's a face primer. And that's another thing that I'm always on the lookout for is a good face primer. I love the ones from First Day Beauty. They were my absolute favorites, but then First Day Beauty is no longer cruelty free, so I won't be buying those anymore, and I've been looking for one to replace those. So we'll see what we think of this one. Yeah, Juice Beauty is another brand that I've tried some products from before and I really like. So that's three. What's this one? This one is from Verso. It's a super facial serum with retinol. Oh, another retinol serum to try. Well, that's good. Like I said earlier, I do enjoy having a nice retinol product that I can use on the nice. I don't use my Retin-A, so I'm always happy to try another one of those. That's one, two, three, four. One more, Sammy. Then we get to the good stuff. Sammy sampling. What's this one? Oh, another Eight Saints product. This one's Night Shift Hydration Gel. Oh, and it's got peptides and vitamin C. I'm always looking for some peptides in a serum. I'll check out the vitamin C. I'm sure it's gonna be a derivative, but I don't mind using vitamin C derivatives in a product that that's not where I'm trying to get my main vitamin C from when it's something like this with peptides in it. Yeah, then we don't mind the derivatives so much, do we? No. Okay, 
That's it for mom for next week. Now let's see what Sammy has. Let's get the treat bag out. This is from one of our favorites. This is from Dog for Dog. It says, with every purchase, we give to dogs in need. And we love that, don't we? Yeah. And this one is the grilled chicken. Okay, let's see. Let's get Sammy a sample out. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's see what I know. You're going to love this one. Let's see. Oh, yeah. There you go. Good sample. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider subscribing. Just hit that subscribe button down below, then ring the notification bell next to that so you'll know when we post new videos. Bye for now.